Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to be talking about the potential of Tarkov's encountered base content. And then I'm going to show you guys a awesome example of how the mumble can be used and how the communication wheel can be used mid combat in an encounter that I had with another broadcaster, Chicken Prism. Completely out of the blue, we didn't know we were fighting each other at the time, and we both decided to use the comms wheel, and joining me is Markstrom. So that comes after, but I first want to talk about the comms wheel, and one of the biggest things I get is like why I'm not playing as the bear faction. I prefer the bear faction. I prefer the look of the uh, Russian PMC and the uh, tactical shirt and wearing that darker clothing. I enjoy that faction more So I'll probably be playing that when they introduce the English comm wheel So that's the only reason why I'm currently playing as USEC. Uh, we don't know what kind of perks the bears are going to have in comparison to the USEC. So maybe down the road, my opinion might change. But the primary reason why I'm USEC right now is to get access to that mumble wheel. And I can actually understand what my PMC is saying. And it's just kind of changes. It adds a different layer to the game. Um, I will admit, though, the comm wheel is a little bit difficult to use. But a cool thing about it is you can actually bind commands. So you can go into your comm wheel and set different commands to the F1 through 12 keys which is really useful. So if you are commonly saying stop or are like uh, follow me, things like that, uh, then you can bind that. But there's certain actions you can't bind, like the let's cooperate thing. I think you should be able to bind that and a few other things that are a part of the mumble wheel. I think you should technically be able to bind anything that's inside of the mumble wheel. I think they should introduce that. I think it would just add a, an additional layer of gameplay. But uh it's, it also gives you sort of a little taste of what voice over IP is going to be like. Now, voice over IP is confirmed. It will be coming to Escape from Tarkov down the road. And I think that's going to really shine when they introduce their open world version. And especially the karma system, which nobody really knows how that is going to work right now. But the idea is you're going to work with the other members of your faction in the raids that you join. Or if you kill them, then you'll get some sort of negative consequence for doing so. So using something like the comms wheel or actually uh, you know, talking to somebody uh, instead of just shooting them is going to be something that's going to happen a lot more. And it's kind of a level of like a part of the game that just isn't there right now. So in Escape from Tarkov, as most of you guys already know, it's like it doesn't really matter what faction you're a part of. Nobody really communicates with each other using the comms wheel. It's a very rare thing whenever it happens. And it's usually between people who are using hatchets. Um, the reason why is any level of hesitation is pretty much a certificate to die. Um, if you are trying to get the attention of another player who you are not talking to on Discord, and the way you do it is try to communicate using the comm wheel, or by the time you even get the guy's attention and try to wave him down, it's just not going to happen. So, I want to hear what your guys' thoughts are on the English comm wheel and the voice over IP system in the comment section below, and maybe some ideas that you guys might have uh, to help improve the system. I'm always uh, interested to have a discussion there. And today, again, I want to show you guys a really funny encounter that doesn't end well for me, but it's pretty hilarious anyway and something I totally want to share with you guys. Just the one thing I wanted to mention, uh, this is a Twitch highlight as well, so I popped some painkillers and the quality is not so hot. So have a good one, guys, and I'll talk to you in the next one. I think I hear a guy in there. No, maybe that's you. I don't know. Let's slow walk and there might be a guy. Hold on. I'm in the I'm going to go to the other estate building. There's a guy in here, for sure. Yeah, I'll come back to you. Unless I'm crazy. But cause no, there's the, these board, are like right? the most popular areas on shoreline right now. Coming over. Oh, yeah, he's in there. Okay. I heard him. I heard him. Yep. He's stuck in there, too, which is the best part. Did I kill him? 
Shit, he's shooting through the windows. Oh shit, behind! Behind the fence! Behind the red fence towards the power towers. I do with a balaclava. I'm gonna hold on, reloading. This guy's gonna try to push out. Out of the wall, let me see if I can flank him. Got him, got the guy outside. Nice, yeah. Here for a hot sec. Try and put my hammer to use here. I'm opening a door. I'm moving in. Are oh, you gonna try to pop Deadly them through spawn. the windows? Yeah, yeah. That's what I was gonna go for. Okay, go, go for it. We are coming. You hear? What kind of voice <laughs> is that? So, what do we I'm have gonna here? I'm fucking murder you, you damn. I'm tired dip. of this walking. Who is that? Is that you? Sass no, that's him, here. dude. No way, man. God damn Ruskies. Really damn Ivans! <laughs> He's not peeking. He's in there, though. I hear him. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's nothing. We need Better to sweep your back sectors. to the windows again. On this side. I'm up where that guy came from. Okay. I hope he doesn't have an AR. Oh my god, this lag. Whoa! He's got a Ford armor and stuff. Piece of shit. Just let us He's on. And you'll be spared. Give up! You're pinned! Hey! Russian, drop dead! Son of a! <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> tired of this motherfucking shit. <laughs> Damn, I'm so tired of this walking. You gotta hit him with a. With, it's no a rat, fucking dude. way. We got a fucking rat. Kill Piece him. Piece of shit. Damn, I. <laughs> Just die already! <laughs> Lay down your weapons and give up! Huh. Confirm! <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. He, he knows better than the peak, so. Nice. Jeez, they're on our fucking ass! What about command? They just left us. Can't fucking do. Let's just, I don't know, maybe we should just leave this guy. Nah, dude, I'm, I'm fucking going in there. I'm not uh, just a heads up, my SKS is bugged. Okay. Just stay focused, guys. He's still in the stairwell, he's still playing the well. You, all right, all right, let's breach at the same time, maybe? Yeah, we'll huh. Alright, are you going to the front door? Yeah, I'm there right Alright, hold, just give me one sec, okay? Okay. Come. Give up, bears! That's me. Son of a... Okay. Slightly. No fucking way. Do you wanna... Do you wanna breach? We've got a fucking rat. Kill him. Like in the okay, movie. I'm on it. Got a bad feeling about this. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready when you are. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> I'm 
dead. I'm dead. Fuck. I shot him in the head too. All right, that abruptly ends because Twitch is being weird. But the guy that actually killed me is a Twitch streamer named Chicken Prism. And Chicken Prism always runs into me all the time. And he's been using the comms wheel a lot more. So if you see Chicken Prism on Twitch, definitely give him a follow. He's a super cool dude and an awesome Escape from Tarkov player. Markstrom was able to get in there and clear out the house and kill Chicken after I wounded him. But uh, still, one of the, my favorite moments in Escape from Tarkov to date and I hope you guys had a couple laughs. So I'll see you guys in the next one.